Oh my gosh. It's finally here. A new Poshmark seller tool. Let's keep reading. Bring your listings to life with Poshmark stories. What the fuck? This is Stephanie with Blue Collar Princess and please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to hear the reactions of the internet, my pros and cons of this new tool, and what exactly it is. All right, so I'm gonna tell you first what it is in case you haven't heard. Poshmark released a story feature where sellers or really any Poshmark user can share something to their story and promote other people's listings or promote, or promote their own listings or talk about their day-to-day -day life as a reseller or just share their lives and connect with their audience. So I kind of went through an emotional roller coaster with this. At first I saw the feature and I was kind of like, what the F, just like you just saw. And then I got really excited about it and I, I was one of 18 in the 48,000 people I follow who utilize this new feature. So I was pretty excited to be like the first to market. I thought I would be able to promote my social medias um, I was pretty pumped about this, but that's not necessarily the case. The CEO actually said that this, um, the CEO actually said that this feature was expedited because of the coronavirus. So when I hear that you're expediting this for the coronavirus, I was kind of like, why aren't you expediting something that could potentially actually help me? So basically their idea was that you could have shoppable stories at the top of the app when you're scrolling through you could see like people's stories and you could click on them and i've been using it to show like styled outfits that i've made in the past and i could tag my listings of what i'm posting in that picture of the outfit which is kind of cool because sometimes you you need to help the buyers a little bit with their imagination so they could really see what the product's gonna be like when they get and you could do like a picture or a 15 second video but basically the pros and cons are it's shareable you could bring your listing to life, just like you said, and you could make the buyer feel connected to you. Like a lot of my business on Poshmark is I'm building a brand and it's not just on Poshmark. So I'm kind of excited that people will be able to see me and like maybe really look forward to my story. So that'd be kind of cool. But a con is it's gonna take a lot of time. Just like if I have to compete with other people's stories, um, I saw that you could favorite or share stories from other people. So. That's kind of cool. Something I'd hope to see in the future is that when someone likes something, like especially if there's tagged listings, I'd be hoping that you could just send an offer to a potential buyer that way. That would be really neat. Obviously, since it's a new feature, there's a lot of glitches. My screen is like constantly freezing on my phone and it's failing to upload some of my pictures that I'm trying to share. I am kind of concerned, like how is Poshmark going to monitor these stories? Like how is it gonna keep PG? How is it gonna, how is it gonna affect the algorithm? Um, how is Poshmark gonna respond if people are promoting things like their YouTube channel or their Instagram or whatever on there? Cause I could easily screenshot my Instagram and I did and post it to my story or my Twitter and post it to my Poshmark story, which I did. But I removed them just because I got scared and I didn't want to be banned. So ultimately I see that it could potentially help with my sales if people like get into this feature and they start liking it. They start enjoying seeing the outfits I pull together. It could help with my sales. It could help with my other platforms. I'm just concerned about the time, probably just like anybody else. There's obviously something else I was hoping for that Poshmark would be releasing and it's something to help out my bruised thumb. Like I have a bruised thumb from sharing so much. So I was kind of hoping that Poshmark would solve that problem for me as a seller. But if they're gonna like give me another thing that my thumb has to do, then I mean, so be it. I guess I have to play the game. I chose the platform and I have to play the game to stay competitive in it. And now we're gonna get into what the internet has to say. I saw this really funny meme. It's just like a guy laughing, getting into a car and it says Poshmark after spending all that Goodwill mystery money on designing stories instead of getting a phone number. And that's like a totally relatable thing. Like eBay has a call center for help. There's been, as a full-time seller on Poshmark, there's been plenty of times where I need to reach somebody and I have to just go through the email portal just like everybody else. I'm like blowing up their Twitter messaging. I'm blowing up their Instagram messaging. Like sometimes Poshmark is just really unreachable. And when I need like immediate help, it's not cutting it. So I could, I could relate to that meme. <laughs> I'd like to see them get a call center. All right, and now to get to Reddit because that's where the real funny stuff is. All right. So this happened in 2019. Apparently they announced that they were gonna do the Poshmark story feature at the last Poshfest, but I wasn't cool enough to be a posher back then. So 
I obviously didn't get invited to Posh Fest. I wasn't a posher. But they had like a brainstorming session on like what this feature could do and if people would be into it. And so as a product of that event, they had then created this feature. But here's a, like I said, here's a message from October 6, 2019 on Reddit. So let me get this straight. They're going to spend dev cycles creating a feature that literally no one asked for and that Instagram and Snapchat already do way better and completely ignore the actually useful features we've been begging for as buyers and sellers. Really? And it's like a face palm emoji. Um, yeah, I get that. Like, I do use my Instagram to promote um, my Poshmark sellings and I'm a Poshmark affiliate on Instagram. So like, I've also noticed they took away or I've noticed that there hasn't been any um, Instagram Posh affiliate opportunities lately. So that's kind of disappointing. And I'm wondering like, are they gonna bring it back or are they not gonna? Cause there's this story thing now and these stories on Poshmark last 48 hours and Instagram is 24 hours and so is Snapchat. I don't have 10,000 followers on Instagram yet. So I don't have that swipe up feature. Um, it could be potentially useful for me to have this story where I could tag my listings directly and see people who are already shopping where like a lot of my Instagram followers are probably other sellers. So I guess, you know, that's kind of cool, but they, I don't know what other features people begged for. Let's read those comments. So what are these stories gonna be exactly? I went to the bins and found some stuff, paid pennies for it and came home and washed it and steamed it all, listed it, got weird questions, but finally sold it. This is my grandma's stuff. Found this in my basement and dusted it off. Yeah, like, okay, that's probably a good tip. Like this person who said that in Reddit. As a seller, if you're gonna be posting stories, you can't be doing the same content that you're doing on YouTube or Instagram. You can't be saying like, oh, I got this for this cost because buyers don't wanna see that. They don't wanna see that you found like a vintage Louis Vuitton in a dumpster behind an old hotel. Or could we start posting stories about all the ridiculous lowball offers and stupid questions we get instead of posting them on Reddit? <laughs> oh, we, we have found the funny comment. Someone else said, out of touch, facepalm. Yeah, it was kind of like an out of touch move of Poshmark, like I could relate to that. I, I would agree that Poshmark was a little out of touch when they made this, like it's not, the most needed thing we need in the pandemic right now. We don't need another social media right now during the pandemic. Like we need help selling and we need relief like because our numbers from our usual selling is down. It wasn't something that needed to be rushed during this pandemic. Like I, I have other businesses and Airbnb is providing support for um, super hosts. I haven't seen anything from any of the reselling platforms like eBay, Macari, Poshmark. I haven't seen them say anything about how they're gonna help their full-time sellers. I have to tell you, it's hurting. Like, it's hurting not making these sales and I can relate to that. Someone else said, this is the norm for Poshmark. They throw money into marketing that no one needs or wants, yet never fix what matters. They will add market to school supplies, yet can't figure out how to deal with inactive accounts or remove unfair ratings or deal with sellers and buyers that, that screw the platform. Customer service is definitely not their first priority. I mean, they kind of always side with the buyer. I've had that experience. I've seen a lot of people post about it. People are pretty angry about this story feature. I, I hope they chilled out a little bit because all this stuff is pretty harsh. Someone else said, something semi-positive. Well, I'm willing to try it out to showcase items just listed. I agree with many of your concerns and hope people are not going to start showing how they got something for 25 cents and sold it for 200 or showing their death piles, messy houses. Um, I'm probably not gonna do any behind the scenes footage of me selling unless it's like packages going out because I agree it's like unclassy to show to show all the details of your business. Like we're in this business because we're entrepreneurs and we found creative ways to make money. And if other people wanna do that, they could go ahead and research that. But Poshmark is not that research, learn how to platform in my mind. Like I said before, like I don't know how they're gonna manage these stories. Like what are the boundaries? What are the limits of what's okay and what's not okay? So when are we getting a 1-800 customer service number? Because with international shipping coming, it would be kind of helpful. 
that's neat. I didn't know Poshmark's doing international shipping in the future. Like, hopefully that expands my business. But yeah, I said the phone number thing too. Someone said, I'm thinking highly established poshers who love being front and center on Instagram, YouTube, etc. think this is an amazing idea. Um, I'm not highly established. I'm just trying to build a business here and hopefully people stop bitching and moaning because this is an opportunity and as any business owner, you need to learn to see it as one. This is the opportunity for you to grow in the spotlight, for you to create a brand for yourself and if people like it, then you will end up in the spotlight. People weren't just born in the spotlight on YouTube and Instagram. They worked really hard to create a brand for themselves. And I hope to do that someday. And that's why I'm building my base here. So as you can see, there was like a ton of different responses from people in the Poshmark community on this new feature. Um, there's supposed to be some more features coming this year, but this one being released just like ran emotions high for a lot of people. I think ultimately if you learn to take advantage and capture this tool, then it's going to push your business ahead. And that's not something you should be scared of or angry about. At the end of the day, it will help your sales if you are utilizing it, but maybe it shouldn't have been the top priority to get finished. Um, especially what we're going through in the middle of the pandemic right now. I hope if anything, you got some laughs out of the comments from the internet on what is going on. And I hope that you as a business owner make a decision for yourself to try and take a step in the right direction and get over the initial shock of this isn't a 1-800 number. This isn't necessarily what we asked for first. All right, we got to get over that hump and we got it. And we got to learn to make some money using it. So please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and happy sales.